Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This week I created this warm orangey cat eye and of course I had to add some glitter. So if you want to see how I created this then keep on watching. The first product that I'm going in with is sticky tape and this is just regular sticky tape that I think everyone has at home. I always use this whenever I go for a cat eye because this will leave me with a very sharp and clean effect. The first eyeshadow that I'm going in with is by Melt Cosmetics and this one is called Classic. It's a very light neutral shade with a yellow undertone. Since I'm going for a warm eyeshadow look, this one comes in really handy since it already has some warmth in it. Um, it's a very light shade so you can't barely see it but still it's very important to go first in with a lighter shade. Now I'm going to use the Melt Cosmetics Antique Eyeshadow. This is a very gorgeous shade. It kind of reminded me of the Anastasia Orange Soda shade. But this one is slightly darker. So I think this will be one of my favorites from now on. Because it's just a perfect shade for whenever you go for a warm eyeshadow look. So I'm just blending this in my crease all over the place. I'm going from inner corner to outer corner. And nothing really precise. But I applied a lot of this shade in my crease. I wanted it to be very obvious over there. Now I'm going in with Rule Eyeshadow by MAC Cosmetics. This is the first eyeshadow that I ever purchased from MAC. It's a very gorgeous orange shade. So I'm also going to blend this all over in my crease and I packed a lot of this eyeshadow in my crease. Um, when I first went to MAC I asked like what eyeshadows do I need that will pop my eyes more so it will make the green in my eyes um, appear a little bit more and they said this shade and it was Rule and ever since I started using warm shades before this I never really used warm shades now I'm using the shade Morocco by Makeup Geek a very pretty shade it's also orange it has a little bit of a coral undertone and I'm going to blend this also in my crease and I focused a little bit more in the outer V so before I uh, bought that Rule eyeshadow by MAC I didn't even know that it was normal to uh, apply orange on the eyelid. It was really strange um, but ever since I started using it I really understand why it's very pretty because it really pops out any eye color shade. Now I'm blending Rust eyeshadow by Melt Cosmetics also in my crease. This shade is slightly darker than all the other shades that I used but I just wanted it to be a little bit more dark in my crease. Now I'm going back in with that classic eyeshadow by Melt Cosmetics, the same shade that I used at the beginning in my crease. And I'm going to use this just to blend around the edges of my eyeshadow to make sure that it looks very smooth blended out. I always go back in with a light shade at the end. It just makes a huge difference. Now I'm using a white eyeshadow and this one is called White Lies by Makeup Geek, a matte white shade. And I'm pressing this in the beginning of my eyelid. Now I'm using that Rule eyeshadow from MAC and I'm going to press this in the middle part of my eyelid and also a little bit on top of that white eyeshadow to make it melt into each other. Now I'm using Rust eyeshadow by Melt Cosmetics and this shade is going a little bit in the outer V of my eyelid. And always when I apply eyeshadows on the eyelid I also um, swipe it a little bit on top of the other shades to really make sure that it blends together. Now I'm going to use the shade Rot by Melt Cosmetics. And I'm softly going to blend this in the outer V to make the outer V a little bit more darker. And I'm using a Morphe M506 brush for this. This is a very tiny precise blending brush. One of my favorites and I believe I use it in all my videos. Now I'm going to use two different glitters. I will mention them down in the description bar. And I used NYX Cosmetics eyeshadow primer to make it stick to the eyelid. So what I always do is uh, make the brush wet with the primer or anything you use. And then I go in the glitter and then I press it against my eyelid. And today I use two different glitters. Sometimes I just like to mix them so it will give a very nice combination. And I forgot to mention um, that my skin is very dry so I hope you are not distracted by how bad my skin looks right now. I have tried almost everything but my skin keeps reacting to everything so I'm kind of confused. I don't know what to use anymore so if you have any tips please let me know. 
Now for my eyeliner, I used the NYC liquid liner. I did my eyeliner off camera because I was just having a really hard time with it. Now I'm using my Black Pro Beauty Blender to reapply my eyeliner, no, not my eyeliner, my concealer. And now I'm going in with Makeup Geek Cosmetics Corrupt Eyeshadow. This is a matte black shade. I'm using my Sigma Flat Definer Brush and I'm pressing this underneath the lower lash line and I'm connecting the black shadow with the eyeliner. This is my current favorite brush for applying eyeshadow underneath the lower lash line. I have used it in all my latest videos. Now I decided to uh, make my waterline black. First I didn't want it to do this but I changed my mind. So normally I do this before applying shades underneath the lower lash line. Just so you know. But now I am applying it in my waterline. Now I'm going back in with the Makeup Geek Corrupt eyeshadow. I'm going to finish what I started. I will apply the black eyeshadow all underneath the lower lash line. Now I'm going back in with the Rule eyeshadow by MAC Cosmetics. And I'm using a very tiny brush to press this right underneath where I just applied the black eyeshadow. I applied a lot of this product underneath on my brush to make sure that it get, gives a lot of color payoff because I really want this uh, orange eyeshadow to stand out underneath the eye as well as it does on the eyelid. Now I'm going to use that Rust eyeshadow by Melt Cosmetics and I'm going to use this shade to blend out the whole lower lash line. For my lashes, I use lashes from my own lash company, Anitude, and this is the style Fluffy. They are one of my favorites whenever it comes to eye looks. They are just freaking gorgeous, as you can see. I have a discount code, you will find it in the description bar, and this is also already the end of the tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I have created a similar eye look like this in the past, but I wanted to recreate it because, I don't know, I just really like how it looks. and I just find it fun to make it. If you want to see this particular eyeshadow look in different shades, let me know in the comments. And if you have any other requests, then also let me know. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this video and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!